think often when it comes to our personal style, we tend to often think ahead a lot. Like, what am I gonna buy for a better style in the future? What essentials is missing in my wardrobe? And sometimes we forget to think about the lessons that lay behind us. So I wanted to do a breakdown of my most worn winter pieces this year to figure out what I wore the most and maybe also why it worked. I started this season's winter off pretty well already. I kind of had a pretty good idea of what I liked and I turned out to be pretty much spot on because I did feel really confident in what I wore all winter and it was almost exclusively made up of some sort of fitted top or sweater jeans, dress pants, or a wool skirt, and then some sort of long line cone to go on top of it to be accompanied by boots. This winter I've had two coats that I alternate between. They are both wool and cashmere coats from uh, Norwegian brand The Curated. I added my first one last season and then another one followed this season just to have something to alternate between. So for items that are not new from this season, their times of wear from other seasons do follow them. And that is why, for example, my charcoal wool and cashmere coat has been won a total of 161 times. When something is made of impeccable quality in the fabrics that I appreciate, here being wool and cashmere, I will just wear it over and over again. I don't find myself longing for other coats. And what I already knew to be true, but then once again had confirmed, is that having very little is okay when what you have is of impeccable quality. And this emphasis on fabrics that are comfortable and temperature regulating really follows because my most worn items this year were by far all of my sweaters, all of which fits the criteria of what I know that I will wear, both in color but also in fit. And it ensured that what I added of this category this year, everything got worn. It's just really important that these types of items is something that will stand the test of time. And one thing I like to do to spice things up other than having a few more interesting colors in there is drape my sweaters over my shoulder. I've been doing that a lot, for example, with my leopard Ghani from last season. Because I tend to feel most comfortable in just block colored things, having something in a pattern to drape over my outfit has been a nice little addition to spice things up every so often. Often. The sweaters I really tend to wear at like the height of winter because when it's a little bit less cold than it is at the height of winter This is where I tend to reach for my thinner tops Basically, this is the same concept except these tops are usually made from cotton or viscose So they are more fitted and less thick fitted on top is one of my most important proofs of concept and that's why I have these sorts of tops in a few different colors. So as I move forward for next winter, these are probably some that I will be adding a few more of. This turtleneck with my charcoal coat and jeans and boots, probably one of my most worn outfits. When I get bored of it, I'll do something else for a while, but I tend to always come back here. On my lower body part, I tend to almost exclusively wear jeans and then sometimes a wool skirt. I think it's an easy wear that flatters my wardrobe a lot. I tend to like more dressed up pieces throughout my wardrobe and then I feel like the jeans are often what brings it back down to a more balanced level. I also have two pairs of dress pants. Their role in my wardrobe just isn't as prevalent. I think one of the majority of the reasons that I like jeans so much is that they are blue and blue is by far my power color and outside of being my power color it also goes with everything in my wardrobe. Generally I feel like for my winter wardrobe I haven't really had a need to experiment with styles. I'm still very much entertained by the styles that I know that I love. In the future I would love to add some more things in these exact same styles but I feel like where I have been experimenting more is with the color combos. I find some outfits I tend to reach for again and again and again just because I love the color combo within them so much. Whatever outfit I have worn this season, I have almost exclusively worn it with boots. Boots are the only shoes I tend to really wear with few exceptions. And I think at this point, boots are such a strong proof of concept for me. This is also once again where jeans kind of prove their balance because boots are definitely way more dressed up than let's say a sneaker is. Balancing it all back out with the jeans to make it more casual again is something I've done all season. Before I went into the season, 
then I assessed what I liked. Like I already knew kind of what styles really suit me and that I feel most comfortable with. And so really just diving into that and giving into the fact that I don't have to be super creative with adding entirely new styles. There really is no need to always be on the lookout for new, interesting, extravagant or creative pieces to make you feel a certain way when the things that you already know that you like are already there and you could spend that time and focus and money adding more of these pieces to have more variety within the styles that you truly enjoy. When you do this, you end up with this swabbing system where your uniform stays consistent, but you still get variety within your wardrobe. After that is a better place to start experimenting with some more interesting styles that maybe you're not so used to, because you're not coming from this place of lack of needing to add pieces to your wardrobe, but rather to add to an existing wardrobe that is already filled with stuff that you wear. You just end up coming from a different place as you go shopping for your wardrobe. Here, of course, you do get to see the most basics that does make up my most worn winter outfits. But even this uniform is supplemented with other items as well, of course. I have a blazer I've worn a lot throughout the winter. And then I have a few tops I've worn a lot, a lot throughout the winter. For example, if I've been going for drinks or to, to an event that is slightly more fancy. But even with these deviations or variants, the main winter uniform was always at the center of it. You maybe noticed throughout this video that I do have a very consistent color scheme, so if you haven't seen it already, consider watching this video next. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.